I like money. It's shiny. <laughs> oh, I gave him permission to play Villa for the whole day. Have yeah. fun with this. <laughs> we were talking about it this morning. You're gonna have <laughs> such a fun time with this little bean. Okay, so the party leaves off in an attempt to talk to Blake, and they get up to a lot of shit today. Don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll give you a full recap once they're home. I or, can, or we'll just let Erica do it when he gets back. I could read through the recap. No, would you, no, would no. you rather have a better retelling? Yeah, we'll let Erica give you a recap. Hopefully you're home and nothing bad happens to you, you know. <laughs> Why did you... Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nothing is going to happen. Yeah, no, nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to earn some money. Mm. Ooh, money? <laughs> We'll go on money with no party and just a tiny little little man. Little Willow. Yep. He's adorable as a little thing. Do we have a picture of something? Selling your food. <laughs> uh, I have seen a picture of him. Uh, we, we can. Will we be getting food in the breakfast bit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. So yeah, you get the free breakfast as always. You know, completely free. Nice That's why Sky loves this place. It's just free food. I forgot that was I went to look in the in the like type in search up the word Villo and there's a line. She gestures to Villo who was licking the window to see what invisible wool tasted like. <laughs> <laughs> well I, it was in a private chat with me and she Oh, it's fucking funny. Oh, okay. What would you like to get up to then? Um, I'll just have a look at what ways to earn money there are around. Okay, okay. Are you gonna head to Blake's or just look I in guess. general for? Okay. I don't know. I don't know what else I'd do. Bill is following after you with a croissant in his hands. Oh, oh it's amazing. <laughs> Can I have taken this second croissant that I'm holding in my hand, and then Absolutely. when Velo's finished his, I will pass him this one? Yeah. He also has, like, croissant crumbs all over his face from the croissants he already ate. I love him. He's so small. He's, like, waddling along happily, holding the croissant. It's, it's like, he's so small, it's taking both his hands to hold the croissant. <laughs> Okay, so as you head to Blake's, maybe, you know, half an hour, an hour after the rest of the party, you step inside and as always, there's a couple of seconds between him going from one place on the realm of Arithia to another and stepping through the door to greet you. Ah, I see you've separated from your party. Uh, just, yeah, for a bit. Fair maybe. enough. Actually, wait, this out of character. At this point, there would actually be consideration of just not sticking with them anymore oh really wow but that's not gonna be said <laughs> well they That'll just took the uh, job to go find the missing kids can i help you with any uh i want to see what other jobs there are and go right on ahead so i cannot remember where they where, where do i find them? just above them. the dice rolls seven quest ah quest. Bello uh, puts the entire croissant in his mouth in one go. Good job, little kid. Good job. Um, is Tiki here? They are. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> you can tell him you said hi yourself, little man. I don't think Sky is actually aware of this. Uh, I don't. It doesn't sound like it. So Blake actually um, steps back and opens the door for a moment, and a little creature floats in for you. Let's get him up. 
I have a out of character question. Mm -hmm. So the in the owl quest, the fourth one down. Yes. Is that different to the other place that it is other adventures? Okay. The other one was a special request from Blake directly. Wait, who's this? This is. Too it's funny. Cool. We asked. We asked the exact <laughs> same question. Yes, like when <laughs> we came here. They asked the exact. It was kind quest. of funny. Uh, yeah. Hi, Tiki! Hello, Billo. How are you? I'm okay. Good. It's good to see you. You wanna cross- Oh, I ate it. Never mind. <laughs> Zach's mini session has turned I... into two small beans discussing. Go ahead. Uh... Which has... Should I should should that croissant that I was holding should I not have given it to him yet so I can break it in half and you give it to You can absolutely do that, yeah. Hey, look what I got. <gasps> and I will hand them both. It's croissant. Croissant. <laughs> More food. Blake oh. actually turns to Sky and like puts his finger over his mouth and just makes a little dressing sound. Do keep this private from everyone, alright? Do you think uh, I'd get yeah. in a touch of trouble if I was one harboring a sprite and two allowing others to do the same? Well, yeah, there's a mutual reason to keep quiet, isn't there? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just like ruffle his head. Indeed, you are, little one. <sighs> Your head part. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know which one... I don't know any quest which is best for me to do. I may have to recommend a lower level quest without the party. Unless if you're going for something a little more skill based. Um... Or if you're just that confident in yourself, I'm happy to see that too. <laughs> well... We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Bella probably wouldn't say that actually. Um, I'm feeling like the first one in the fox might be doable. First one in the fox. Although I can't. Oh, no, I have to. Yeah. Just clear it for purposes. Yeah. I can always. Uh, well, I'm gonna cut a long story short. I've gotten some new employees mainly because I'm setting up some new networks. So if you do need assistance, I can send one along with you. Um, is this DM speak for you're going to need someone else to come with you? This is an option in DM speak for you may possibly, depending on what you choose, need someone to come along with you. Um, and it means. To, like, sorry, Bill was trying to grab like Tiki's tail, like jumping for it. Tiki's just <laughs> floating through the air. Come back here. One attack. Give it a go. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually having a really hard time deciding. <laughs> Sorry, me being in the background probably is not helping. Random question, Sky. What is your yes. opinion on other guilds? Um, I don't know. What? How many? Is it just the other the two well-known ones? Available here, yeah, but I can get all the other ones, but you, they usually just double up on some quests mm. that most of the uh, Sea Venom have, but what's Helltide have other? different go uh, Helltide, that's it. I'm pretty sure... No, party member is from Helltide. Oh. So... I'm surprised you haven't taken more quests from them. I can't legally show them to you unless one player can... not player. One person can present a badge. So, huh. I'd have to see his badge to show you. It's all, like, royal stuff since the Hell's Guide is involved with them. Maybe, maybe uh, next time. Indeed. Well, hmm. I need to put more in the quest chat. I'll just have a brainstorming session, sure, later. I'll just come up with a bunch. God. <laughs> Why am I struggling to decide so bad? Well, okay. Can we find someone with a really pretty tail and chase them? That's very specific, little man. I had a pretty tail. Mm -hmm. 
I'm feeling like, would it not be safer to have had Velo stay at the... Absolutely. Somewhere? He's with you now. <laughs> you have to deal with this liability and you love him. I'm a liability. I mean, this was, this was kind of thrust upon me. <laughs> so, I don't... <laughs> she, she doesn't say I'm a liability. He says, I'm a liability. Given the choice, Sky would have not Taken Villo out. <laughs> who would who would who would if he sorry she who would she have entrusted Villo with though? Good point. Because mm. usually he is attached to Erica if like a child. Why didn't he go with Erica this time? Because we forgot to mention him, and he has a quantum existence. He has a quantum existence. If he's mentioned, he is there, which means I can hurt him. But if he's not mentioned, he's not there. Okay. And he wasn't mentioned, so fortunately he wasn't hit with but chain lightning. But Tyron was mentioned, and Tyron did get hit with chain lightning and almost died. No! He no. did go down, actually, and no. he would have died if he didn't oh, have no. a bunch of bullshit ways to avoid damage. I think just clearing the area might be, because I don't think I can take Owl on by myself. Uh, I Bug. do want to do the third one down in the owl. Mm. But like, I've only just reached owl. Yeah. It's either that or the first one in box. Yeah, first there. Realistically, Sky would go for the last one in Fox. Okay. But that oh. is a week. Oh. So I'm not doing that one. Mm. Well, no, she wouldn't touch them yet. Please, 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 as a DM, please take the last one in Fox at some point because that is just going to be amazing. Uh, let's Especially next after quest what we do. happened to Cassius. Well, I mean, next quest we're going to... I've already forgotten the name of the, the, the city we're going to, but we're going to see if the king is Oh yeah, you were going to go Ill. investigate. Yeah. Next Remember next what quest. I said earlier, how Erakai is subtly pushing the plot <laughs> onto the party. Mm. <laughs> um... Because for the most part, these quests, as far as I'm aware, aren't generally pointing towards plot. Like there will be there is just, there's a few of them, yeah. Yeah. And like, there's the chance the in some of them to gain like plot relevant items. Yeah. So for one, I think someone was going. I think we to... uncovered quite a big plot point in with the child kidnapping one. Yeah. The whole like circle and then and then when Erokai leaned in and was like it's it's, it's all father carriol isn't it yeah <laughs> little bitch so i think actually it's either gonna be the the fourth one down in fox okay or do we go? um food oh missing food sorry <laughs> i don't know <laughs> 30 gold plus loot. Ooh. Put that out. Sky, I can, I can just feel the energy of Sky struggling to make a decision here, and it's amazing. Can we say that this is not happening in, uh, it's not taking this long in oh, no. the actual game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would still be funny, because Blake would just be, like, popping back and forth to, to go with other people. Yeah. Uh, I see Stuart in chat. Hello, Stuart. Let's <laughs> go a bunch of emotes. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a list and I'm gonna keep eliminating them until I get down to one. And then Blake's gonna make it harder by offering you a special quest. Why must you do this to me? Because I love Why you. Why does he investigate the city further? Hmm? What reason does he have to go back? Back to the city. Hello? Hmm. Well? There's no reason to go there. 
Sure, what are you muttering about? I'm sorry, I'm just reading the the replaced uh, flight suit quest. Oh. Uh, why why does he want to go back to the city? Sure, 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 it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, he, it's amazing. He, it's going to be great. Uh, it, it's fine. Erokai knows about the city now, so he knows to... He knows to not fuck with it. <laughs> Having a hard time choosing? Um, I'm getting close to making a decision. <laughs> I've just, I'm out of, he's out of three now. The way I'm imagining this is like there's a frame of it like shows from, it shows from the quest board's perspective looking at Sky, mm -hmm. And it just shows like her thinking and like every now and then it'll cut and Villa will be in a different position <laughs> either somewhere in the back background or standing on the sky in some way <laughs> or just like one in the background where um tiki's floating by and is yeah, hanging on by like their tail and just <laughs> floating in the background yeah or like he's reaching he's reaching for he's reaching for something like on a shelf and he's standing on the counter and he like falls off <laughs> <laughs> what kind of quest do you interest in most uh i'm not sure one that's helpful to group so i like the the one that's about trying to waffles. make sure owen's okay Give me the waffles. and <laughs> the one in felon or the advent trying to find the adventurers that have gone missing one of those three fair enough interested in magic items at all i do like magic items well if you would tasty? Not no. particularly, but there are some that are. Oh. Okay. If you're interested in a quest such as that, I might have one for you. That does pique my interest. Well, I'm... Well, I can procure a lot of magic items, but recently, uh, one of the shipments of a bunch of second-hand ones was interrupted. Retrieve it, and I'll let you pick two of anything in there. That sounds worth quite a lot. That's... And I don't mean, like, to me, you know? Yeah. Oh, no, but I want specific items. <laughs> It's quite annoying. Nah, screw it, I'll do it. You do it? Yeah, let's go. Very well then. You can sell them for the shinies. <laughs> and then the shinies can buy food. Yes. Indeed. Shiny food. Possible. Not tasty in my opinion. But you know what, kiddo? Try it out. So what are the specifics on this quest? Well, not quest, on this thing. Well... Basically, I had a shipment coming into Raytheon. Uh, I will pay for your travel there. Out of courtesy, this will be a job done for me. So, free trip there and back on the house. This guy just does a little fist pump, like, yes. <laughs> just outside of Raytheon, there's a single path between that and Estelon in the Wind Court. It's a hard trade route to get through, especially with those people in the Wind Court, but we made it across the main gap. After that, all of the goods were passed off from flying mounts to walking mounts for the ease of getting it across the land, but never quite made it into Raytheon. There was a point between a small village and the city itself where they went missing. It's been about half a, you know, half a week now, and I've had people look around, but we have a general idea of what might have taken it. Just a small group of bandits that saw, you know, carts passing by and just went for it okay up to you whether you want to kill them off or hand them in uh i mean unfortunately it might be easier for me to just just slice you know fine by me bounties give shinies they do um okay so i want to write down in the my notes chat what I gotta do. <laughs> okay. So that's uh 
I'm struggling to remember. <laughs> We're gonna go to Raytheon, is that right? Yep. Uh, and then... What, can you just... Can you type, like, the step-by-steps -steps in my in my notes? <laughs> Yeah, I can. Because <laughs> I, I will, I, I want to put the notes in, but then you'll have to repeat them to me. Yep. Okay, so, <laughs> so it's, easy, it's um... easier just to cut out the middle. Perhaps grab the, uh, grab some wanted posters before you go, just in case you do come across any. Oh my god, Villa got really deep voiced. <laughs> this, this, this isn't Velo, this is... Erokai is in your head now. <laughs> shoulder Erokai. Yeah. <laughs> you just have like a really tiny chibi Erokai just standing on your shoulder. I mean, I could have a just quick look at various bounty pictures. Give me, give me one moment. There we go. Oh my god, I just realized my yawns can be in character now. <laughs> no worries, though. So, I guess I will start to head out. Indeed. Okie dokie. So, as you wander out of the... Well, he opens the door for you to head through to Raytheon, first of all. Which is a town you're fairly familiar with, especially being that's where you worked and had the little apartment. Yep. You haven't been back to in a while. I'm sure they're I worried haven't. sick about you. <laughs> yeah, they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll oh, I think we went back to Raytheon. I was like, we literally had a shopping spree there lately. It's a yeah. whole party. You were in Edgewood Town. Yeah, no, but we like we went to Raytheon to shop. Mm -hmm. uh, after the Halibund incident. Yeah. Went to Arties. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Halavand. It was different mines. Halavand's off Cryon, isn't it? Mm. Fucking more documents. Are these magic items. After the Charlie Charlie Slimesicle incident. <laughs> the ch don't <laughs> call it the Charlie Slimesicle. God damn it. Oh. But yes, the Charlie the Slime School incident. There was a shopping <laughs> spree. Yeah, in Raytheon. Because yeah. I went to Artie's Artisanals and got my magic gloves. I went to Taylor's Taylor's and got my swagalicious outfit. Swagalicious. Love it. Actually, we can just... Cool. So you head off towards the edge of Raytheon. You know, you're just passing by, getting nostalgia. Villo still following along joyfully. Do you want to take Blake up on the offer of taking a companion? Um, I am companion. I don't, but I am scared that I will get KO'd if I don't. Like, I, I can wouldn't. Run away with you. Slowly, I wouldn't do that. But mm -hmm. it, in the interest of not dying, like, I would. Willow can drag you back to Blake. Oh my god. <laughs> I would. I think Sky would be confident enough to just go on her own. Considering Willow could player, cast Fireball, I, I think you'd be. Wait, okay. what? He does... Send me Villo's spell list Oh, in now. that case. He does have spells, but the thing is, he has the, the child brain of a three-year-old, so they only really are usable if he's in danger. 
Um, we need explosions! Where he's like, ah, panic! And he would just fire magic as if it was wild magic whenever he's panicked. That That is Villa's yes, entire thing. Send, me, send uh, me his spell list. Okay. I need to know. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, should, should it just be Sky and Villa? Yeah. Do you have NPCs prepared for this? Like, do you want one that you've prepared? I, I have his NPCs because you w they are, like, plot relevant and will come in later, but you don't have to take them along with you. No, I won't bother. Do, and you I will have, that. do you have a health potion on you? Do I have a health potion? Let me check. I do. I have a 5d8 plus 12 and a 1d8. Do you want to make sure that Villo knows where one of those is? <laughs> Uh, I will let him know where both of them are, and say, if I fall unconscious, put Eat them. this one. Eat no, them. please. <laughs> put, make me drink this one, and I will point to the 5d8 one. Drink, drink, drink potion. Yes, have me drink the potion so that I wake up. Me drink potion, okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've just realized Velo's little candy cane pouch is his component pouch. Okay, sorry, carry on. They're all they are all bombs. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explosive candy cane. <laughs> oh I love him. You just get blown up like and then you're like you go to like wipe some like ash off your face and it tastes like candy canes. Yeah. Or candy corns, even more than candy canes. Anyway. Honey, I need the spell list. I know I'm going as fast as I can. Sorry, I'm putting up six different. Oh, ways. it's not a copy paste deal, okay. No. Fair enough. Did you take a picture and send to the picture? Yeah. Or is it written like hand? Uh, I'll probably take a few pictures. Mm -hmm. wow. Assuming she's done it on the app, it would, um, if you cast Fireball, that would be probably at least two pictures. Anyway, yeah, let's, you guys continue your tricks while I do this. He might, have, he might have higher level spells, so I'll take more probably. Uh, mm -hmm. it turns out he's just a level 20 caster. Tyrant's level 8, so... Tyrant's pretty strong. Nice. I love him. Is he gonna start leveling up when we hit level 8? Yeah. <gasps> yes! Amazing. Tyrant forever! <laughs> I mean, you're gonna actually cry when I kill him. You're not when, kill What him. do you mean when? You mean if? <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, you don't mean either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. You you guys keep discussing discussing cute if, things together. If we okay, were in to be person... fair, now you do need to kill him nine times before he'll die. Yeah, he does have a thing that Erica oh. got for him. If if we were in person, I would be looking you dead in the eyes and being like <laughs> Uh, I guess I'd just uh, I'd start heading <gasps> out. Pretty butterfly. Villa <laughs> runs after the pretty butterfly. Oh, you no, him. come back. Just don't run off. I will grab his arm. We just do do your butterfly. <laughs> you can you can watch. You can look at the pretty butterfly from a distance. I want to taste the pretty butterfly. Um. It probably won't taste very nice. Don't know. What does your hair taste like? It's pretty colour. Uh, thank you. I'm not sure, and I'd rather you didn't find out. Okay. <laughs> I can't do that to the little Sorry. I'm <laughs> I don't really want him to lick my hair. <laughs> Quote chat, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want him to lick my hair. 
The D and D ones are the best out of context oh, because, yeah. like, most of the people in Zathia don't play D and D, so they will never get the context. Yeah. yeah. So out of everyone, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven play D and D. Well, eight. Actually, seven to nine, depending on if you count Bradley and Katie. Whereas the other... Six, seven, I might have missed out, Dylan. Actually, I think more people play D&D on there than don't. That kind of makes sense, actually. Hey, um, but there's like a good, there's a good number of people who yeah. won't get it. Who'd look at this and think, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? Which I guess is the point useful. of the quotes chat. Yeah, that's the point of the quotes chat. Oh my god. It's all- it's all- <sighs> It's all fire. He has vicious augury. Yeah, that's his only non-fire spell, is he can roast people with the cutest little voice. Because if Willow's mad at you and starts roasting you, it hurts physically. But that's still fire, isn't it? Because he's roasting you. Hey. Yes, hey. Yes, <laughs> Okie dokie. He just like he goes like you're stinky. Yeah, and it's like twenty three <laughs> damage of <laughs> so much conviction into it that it genuinely hurts. Mm. Yeah. So did it go missing is at he... the town? So it meant uh, he went missing. Is he... What is he on five health? No, or he's 24? not. I just haven't. I okay. never did it when I made him, where you have to click, like, when I level him up, I never clicked. Uh... Oh, you never clicked long rest. Yeah. Okay, Zach, he's, he's a, he's a sorcerer, so he could actually make Vicious Mockery do fire damage. <laughs> oh yeah, you need all of his other abilities and so let me screenshot those for you. I don't, yeah, I don't know what Wild Magic Surge does. Oh boy. Oh, wow, magic is fun. Um, wait, my re my two rerolls that expire today. No, I have to. I have two rerolls that expire today in this. We can we can move them over since it's a mini session. Like if if you don't use them, we'll move them over to the main session tomorrow because it's obviously you didn't get to join the main session. So okay. he's not playing tomorrow. No, I I meant mean, like means in game tomorrow. In game tomorrow. Oh. In game tomorrow, I. Octopan 14th. Indeed. Do 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 Oh, I love him. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sky. Yes. Hey. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sky. Hello. Hello. <laughs> mm, hi. Can I create an echo behind Villa and tap him on the shoulder? Oh my god, yes. And then... What the fuck? And then switch places with the echo. He said the f <laughs> He said the f oh. He said oh. the fuck word. Huh? <clears throat> Willow said fuck. Oh. How dare you. Arokai, Arokai is like... He's like... Not Arokai, Jesus Christ. Willow is, is looking in between you and the echo and just being like, Why? 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 Yeah, the echo would disappear now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Magic, man. Butterfly. Yeah, and he's gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as you continue through the forest, um, Villo's still distracted as ever and adorable and amazing. Uh, you eventually get towards the closer and closer towards the village, which uh, Blake said between the village and the city is where uh, the cart disappeared. So if you want to begin looking for clues here or go into the village mm. first, it's up to you. 
Uh, I wanna, as I'm walking down the road, I wanna like look for signs of where something might have been dragged off the road. Yep. It's up to you if you want to make a survival check to do more in the woods or investigation to check more on the road. Uh, they're both a plus one, so it doesn't matter. Up to you. Uh, as, it's just like as I'm walking, just yeah. looking for where at the edge of the forest. Well, that's not good. You're too focused on trying to stop the liability from eating butterflies and running away. <laughs> like, he's amazing and we love him, but he's a liability. <laughs> Which is why he has a quantum nature. I just realised I am so in character, I'm actually doing something in real life you guys can't see, but it is something Villa would do. What are you doing? <laughs> Turn my camera on and show you, it's just really stupid. <laughs> okay, let me pause it so it doesn't go off in the stream. Oh yeah, thanks. I didn't I'll really turn off Discord. I'm streaming more for... But yeah, I'll pause it while I look at the yeah, camera. Yeah. Right, it's like ahead. you're streaming for saying you Okay, remember. right. Yeah, but if I'm someone just, does watch I it, just... I, want, I don't want them to see my shirtless boyfriend. I was thing. just- I was just sitting here going... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, that's so below too. I love it. Oh, okay. No, I didn't find He's anything. He's tasting the air. He's tasting the air. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Don't, don't turn the camera off. I didn't find anything in the road. No, you can kind of... Mm, this this road is made of road. <laughs> mm, the, the surrounding trees look like trees. Mm. Butterfly. Oh. I'm like investigation stuff because I'm just not smart enough to figure out where to investigate. <laughs> oh, the thing. Hello is going to investigate for food. Okay. Oh my god, Bill is going to find a fucking fault with a nat 20, let's see. <laughs> it would be really funny. Um, if he rolls a nat 20, can we find it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, if he rolls a nat 20. Investigation, ask me some plus one. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, 50, <laughs> good. Better than you! Villo, as, as you're like, like berries, looking awesome. around for berries and stuff, uh, you, you know, you're like climbing up the trees, looking around, like Sky's taking a really good look at you, and Sky, kind of noticing everything he's doing, sees a few trees that are kind of missing branches and seem to have been ripped off to push through them. Yes, I found the thing. By the way, every Hello, time Villo... Amazing. Every time Villo runs, he does it. You see in his picture how he has his arms out with his... Yes, <laughs> yes. He does that, he's, like, he's playing planes every time he runs. <laughs> and he's just going, wee. Hello, <laughs> we're going into the forest. More butterflies. You also find an apple tree, Villa. I feel like Villa is consumed by the apple tree. He <laughs> really just eats him. <laughs> well, like, he disappears into the branches, is what I mean. Oh. All right. We... Okay, we got to be quiet now as we're going. We just hear a munching from above you. I'd like to. Okay, just round up the animals and put pictures, but just look at this. The leaves are tasty. Oh my god. He has little, he has little, little pins as, as knives. He's gonna get you. Stealth. Both of you. Yes. If I roll high and Villa lows, rolls low, I'm going to be very annoyed. <laughs> oh, what, we're doing stealth. He's, he's just walking through the when forest and he, he sees Sky being super stealthy. He's like, oh, right, stealth. If I, if I genuinely get hindered by Villa, why not? He has a plus seven. That's okay, I will accept that. That's okay. I take averages. Yeah, that's that's enough to pass passive perceptions. He's yeah. like he's being really sneaky, but he's saying he, he's like he's also saying sneaky times. 
sneaky. <laughs> He's so don't small that you don't notice. <laughs> don't be suspicious. <laughs> like, if he was human-sized, he'd get caught. Oh, because yeah. he's a tiny little sprite, just everything he's doing is fine. Kind of he's not even, like, he's saying it at, that uh, it's not loud enough for anyone to hear. Yeah, it because it's adorable. He's so sneaky. Uh, give me a, another investigation as you're sneaking on ahead. You take one mm. from below, too. I am looking around for just oh fuck. Uh, it just it doesn't matter what I'm looking around for, I probably don't find it. But I would Villo finds an apple in his pocket. <laughs> he eats it. I would be looking just just following the trail really into that. Yeah, fair enough. So as you continue following the trail, you kind of there's a few moments where you're like, oh, where did it go? But you continue until you eventually see kind of tracks in the ground of the, the cart getting dragged off the road. And then eventually small spots of blood, which is heavily dried. Mm. Mm. And after maybe 10, 20 minutes of walking, you eventually... Crest... Villo goes to lick the blood. No, oh, I don't want to lick blood. You're not going to stop him. <laughs> Oh, I can't bother. <laughs> Hello, why are you licking the blood? Um, it was red like the apples. That's blood. That's not. It's not apple. It's not like apple. It didn't taste very like good. No. Okay. You eventually Just... crest upon a clearing. Um. Where you can see a kind of small fire which has been it's been covered slightly to stop the smoke rising above the trees, but the smoke can still gradually escape. Uh the cart itself. Let me grab it. I'd is, like to put hood and mask up. Okay. It is a very large cart which in itself uh can hold a lot of Seeing, seeing Sky put a hood and mask on, Villo, Villo like wraps one ear around the top of his head, oh. like his forehead, and the other one around his mouth. Why am I so much louder now? What the fuck? <laughs> because he's talking directly into his own ear. <laughs> <laughs> so in the picture, it shows them being um, pulled by like kind of eight large uh cows foods sure they're foods mm -hmm. also that's only four cows it'd be eight because side by side but yeah we'll say four it's okay I, it, it's fine it i may have what, been wrong no, leave, you, me, leave me alone Shush. It, yeah it, silence oh, child i have the smite of god <laughs> i am god no 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 so far from God. He is a god. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit. But yeah, instead of the cows, they're being pulled by these horses. Damn. There's two of them instead of four. That looks cool. And sitting around the fire, we have our bandits. You're supposed to make the bandits look evil. Is that evil enough? Evil. No. <laughs> oh, that one is. That one the is fucking girl. Evil. The girl just looks like she's about to come in and say, "Well, actually." <laughs> she just looks like a nerd. She doesn't look a bandit. Yeah. This guy's just standing up like a nerd. Yes. <laughs> 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 and this guy. Can I? Can I pet the kitties? Can I pet the kitties? Can I pet the kitties? What the kitties? Can I pet the kitties? I think they will try to kill you. The kitties will try to kill you. I think so. Well, at least hurt. The okay, that's a lot of things that might want to kill me. Am I sure that they are the bandits? You can pretty much tell because uh blake would have given you a description of the cart the cart that is there uh, is the cart that is missing and you can yeah, see because they wouldn't it would if 
the people that are actually supposed to be on it wouldn't be there mm. with it. And like the guy with the two dogs is kind of cleaning off his little hand scythes and she's looking through magic items, like bags of magic items, and the other guy's um. just kind of sitting on top of the car and watching her. Can I... It's a sickle. Okay. Can I estimate how many, like, can I see all the magic items from where I am? Uh, perception. Or is it going to be in the car? Uh, perception. Yeah, it could be better, it could be worse. So to clarify, we have three people, three cats, and two very mean-looking dogs. Hmm. You can tell there is about, like, there's about 20 magic items that are looking through on the outside, and you can maybe spot a few more that are piled up on the inside. You, okay, from what so Blake they're... said, there is anywhere from, like, 50 to 100 in this car. Okay, so I can't just grab them and run. I do have to take back the car. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the battle strategist in me is being like, do this, but I can't because I'm bean. You're bean. The kitties have wings. My echo has a range of 30 feet. The, kitty, the kitties have wings. Indeed. I'm glad the dogs don't have wings. That would be scary. I don't think I can talk my way out of this. I think there's actually a really, there is a really easy way you can win this fight, Zach. Really? Yes. And Philo has just sort of pointed it out. Wait, what did he point out? The cats have wings. The dogs don't have wings. That would be scary. Oh, I can just fly. Yeah. And then I only have to take out the. So. Blake said it's it's probably just better to kill them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to kill them. It makes me feel bad. But does it make Sky feel bad? Is the question. <laughs> I mean, they did steal magic items. And if I could take out the Birdman quickly, then they kind of can't do anything. What do you tie thing? I am searching up something to okay. see what it does. Can I try and eavesdrop for a little bit? Sure. You can just give me a rough estimate of what they're saying. Yeah. You so, as you kind of sit and listen to their conversations, the Aracocra on top of the cart literally is just scouting at the moment, and the conversations between the young man and the young woman is basically they're taking account of how much uh, each magic item might be worth, so they're just counting up what they're going to sell it for. But it does seem, you know, they have killed the people who were previously on this cart. Ah, uh, okay, then in that case, I don't care about them. I yeah. don't care about their well-being. Because he mentions, like, uh, did you dump the bodies well, far enough away, and the bird just kind of gives a nod. What's her vibe about it? She doesn't look evil. Her vibe is she's just going through it. She, she, she ignores that bit. She ignores she, those little bits. Is she an innocent-looking psychopath? Yes. She kind of just, you know, looks away and doesn't really focus on them, just continuing to count up um, everything she's got. I don't know the range of my throwing knife, mm -hmm. but I imagine I can throw it at Birdman. Yeah, that's us say good. Um... Bird O is going to pat you on the butt Ooh. and say, you've got this. <laughs> and when he does butt. it, he, he, Do accidentally, I... he accidentally casts Dragon's Breath on you. No. Can, no, no. Breathe fire now. Oh, I thought I thought that meant like you were gonna breathe. No, 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 no. Sky can now breathe fire. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I, can I create an echo next to me? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I actually still need to roll the d twenty, don't I? 
Yeah. And then... Nah, oh wait, the DM can damage. have you roll a d20. He's fire damage. If I... No, 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 like for the wild magic. Oh, yes, absolutely. No. No, it's just the DM can have you roll it. Am I rolling it or not? Please don't. Roll me a d20, and if you get below I... 5, you're having to roll it. Can I it do my if you first roll a one, round first? Roll on the magic. Okay. Well, because I, okay. I cast the, I cast the. It's because I cast the dragon's breath. Yeah, yeah then roll okay. me a d twenty. Like it says, um, just roll, roll the d twenty. Immediately after you cast the sorcerer spell of first level or higher, which dragon's breath is, the DM can have you roll a d twenty. If yeah. you roll a one, roll a wild magic search okay. table. Roll a d twenty. So just hope it's not a one. If you and if it a is a one, one it might be a good thing. To let me do something first. Okay. Nah, no, you're That's fine. fine. <laughs> okay. So can so if I get a surprise round, are they attacks with advantage? Yes. Uh, yes. Can I make an echo next to me mm -hmm. without being seen? Yep. Hand it two throwing knives. Okay. And then I will use my attack action mm -hmm. to throw two because wait no I don't have extra attack yet. But... <laughs> attack. Hmm? You should get the echo to move around so that it can throw the throwing knives from the other side and they'll go check somewhere else. It has a thirty foot range. Mm -hmm. That's okay. still you can move you can move it thirty foot to the other side of them. Right. Well, 30 foot around 30. the clearing, so they'd be at like a different. So, like, he'd be like south and they'd be west. You know? Yeah. Like 30 so, foot. They is, would... The clearing is much going to be much larger than 30 feet. Yeah. Like, you can get a, a certain degree away from yourself. Yeah, but the point is, they wouldn't check your bush first if the knives oh. came from a different bush. That's true. I can have my echo do all of my attacks. Hmm. So that is. I have a question. What? Okay. Can his echo breathe fire? Yes, I would say so. Your echo can breathe fire. Okay. Uh, right. This is what I I want to do on my <laughs> turn if I can. <laughs> okay. So my first action is to throw a throwing knife. Okay. And that allows me to throw an extra one with my echo. Okay. I will use a bonus action to throw a third throwing knife if I can, although it's not dual wielding, so I don't know if that's allowed. Okay. But if I'm like, if I throw one with my right arm and throw the other with my left, then technically that is dual wielding. Yeah. That is. I would argue that's dual wielding. And yeah. then I will use my action surge to do that again, and I will throw five knives with advantage at Birdman. Okay. Action surge doesn't give you a second bonus action. Well, yeah, but it's so it's five attacks, not six. Oh. So when I, when I say do that again, I just mean the first two. Okay. So that gives me five attacks. Don't you have those special darts from that hunter that came up? Yeah, the... that's what I'm using. Ah. I have five D8 throwing knives, and I can make five attacks. I thought you meant each throwing knife was a five D8, and I was like, what? No, that that would be <laughs> that'll be horrifying to give a level yeah. five. Yeah, that would that would be horrifying. So can I throw all five of those from my Echo 30 feet away? Yeah, I'd say so. Go ahead and make the attack uh, rolls. Do they, do they have advantage? Uh, yes. they do, yes. Because it's, it's a surprise one. Da -da 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 -da. So a, a 26, 26 a, 17, a 17, a 19, a 17, and a 16. The lowest roll is a 16. Okay. Uh, anything above 17 will hit, depending on who you're throwing at, actually. Third man, just all, all of the them are third man. Then anything above 17, so 18 plus hits. So... Okay, so one, So I get hits. three of them. Yep. Or is it... Oh, no, that's... Two. That... There's only two. Aw, I only get two of them. That was unfortunate rolls. Actually. I might. I'm gonna. Can I re-roll two of those with sure. my two re-rolls? 
So yeah, I, I want these go. to hit. I want as many of these to hit as I can. <laughs> Sorry. You got a one and a two. Reroll those. You, you got a one, two, and a three. And a five. That's one more hit. There you go. Um, also, do I have ten points of inspiration? You do, yes. Plus whatever you haven't used up from the start of the campaign. Which I think is ten. Yeah. I don't know. So, so you have twenty inspiration, are you? Uh, which one have I re-rolled? I re-rolled... Four block points. Oh, I can re-roll two of them. So, can I add... Can I make it so that I've rolled the 26 from the first one? I'm being so annoying with this. Okay. Add a lock point to the 17 to make it an 18. Yep. The 19 hits. Uh, add... You re-rolled one of the 17s to make that... Well, sorry, you probably rolled one of the... I assume the 16. Yeah. Oh, right. And then add a lock point. To, so add, there's two 17s you could so add then it becomes those rolls we're using two lock points and both my re-rolls yep those all hit then fabulous <laughs> <laughs> the damage for me What? They're D6. They're D8. I stole their D8 plus Dex Holy plus shit. Yeah. 2. Fair enough. Oh no, they're, their damage is 1D8 plus Dex plus Proficiency. Yeah. Where'd you get this again? Who did you nick this uh, from? You know the... The hunter that came after Erokai. Oh yeah! Yeah, we well, yeah. very, very strong Erokai split up his knives. Yeah. <laughs> And then Erokai had enough. And so, five knives just fly out of the forest and stab like into this out, man. You didn't even get good rolls and it still did 56. It was plus 35. Y yeah. I got, well, I got an 8 and a 7. Oh, but I mm. got a 3, 2, and a 1. Yeah, a 3, 2, 1. I'm happy with that damage, to be entirely honest. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Is he still be. alive? No. <laughs> Um, please, how do you want to do that? <laughs> they just keep, like, s stabbing into him in various different parts of the chest, and he just fucking falls over. Yeah. Last one hits him, like, square in the middle of his head. He just, he tumbles over the side of the car, and both, uh, and kind of, like, hits the floor. Both the woman and the man just stand up, fucking terrified because you've just one shot them <laughs> they don't know and where the start looking around because they don't know where it came from uh well he doesn't have the skulker feet so they would know where the echo is yeah uh they don't know, but where, they you don't know where you are or that you can breathe fire for that matter mm. which uh... by the way is a bonus action i think oh my god oh Guys, How much damage does it do? Uh, deck saving throw for three d six or half as much on a success. Is it a one off? Spell ends. Oh no, action! It's an action. Zach, use uh, this if you're ever making a magic shop items because you can literally just put in a bunch of numbers and get like it's it's amazing. I've just used it for this thing. Nice. Um. So. <laughs> yeah. No. You. It's. It's not one off either. It, once oh. a turn, you can spend your action to make them do a dex save oh. for 3d6 fire damage. Wow. Thing is, so now I can just, because my echo can only be within 30 feet of me or it shatters. Yeah. So I might as well just fly up okay. uh, and just shout, these, these magic items are going back to who owns them. You can either leave or die fighting. Intimidation, you have just killed their friend in one hit. Without him, like, their literal scout has just been... I only got an 11 because I don't have a modifier. Hmm. Okay. 
Advantage because you killed my friend. Yes. Watch this be a fucking one. <laughs> Not any better. Yeah. Just think, just, just think fucking. The the man kind of stands up. The the two dogs at his side barking quite loudly. And who are you to say we should give them back? This is enough to retire on. Can I just gesture at their friend that I just killed? Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just go, boy. <laughs> like, my God, I've been hired to get these back. I don't, I don't know what you, you expect. Mm. <clears throat> it hit me, it's, it's going to be someone that doesn't even give you this chance. I am flying, so I'm out of melee range. Yeah. <laughs> just all the, just, if, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully neither of them can fly. Well, they, they... we're not giving these up to us. Uh. Boss. Twenty two. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, let's go. Three cats. Should we just roll them together so we do cats and dogs? Oh, hello, Dax. Oh. Uh, what did Sky I... do? Oh, you're going Earth. first. Yeah, because your okay. players go first. So we've got Sky, Cats, times three, um, Villo, Man, Dogs, Woman. Alright, Sky, you're up first. I am going to throw one of the 1d6 throwing knives. Okay. Can I use it as a, another one as a bonus action? Because if I hold two at once, um, yeah, go for it. Fuck yeah, that's yeah, that's technically falls within your rule, then. So yeah. Oh, oh wait, I'm aiming at the dude. The dude, okay. A twenty-two hit. A twenty-two does hit. Yes, you'd be scared if it didn't. I sure I would be. <laughs> well, that is my turn. Well damage. Okay. The cats are up next. All right. They are not knowing where Bella is. Gonna go all for you. Two scrimmage attacks. Plus. Five. Uh, I assume that's only 21 that... and 22. It's multi attacks so two attacks per cat. Okay, yeah, only those two hit. Right. So if it's two, two, one, D, six, plus two. Nine. Yep, that's true. Should, have, should have raged first, but oh well. Velo, what would you like to do? Um. I am going. You can just like hide. I'm going to go to roll intelligence, and if I roll too low, he's going to chase a butterfly. Like <laughs> okay, no, that's actually pretty high intelligence. Um. Oh, did you... Which, uh, which sorcery things does he have access to, my love? What do you mean? Uh, meta magic. Like, does he? Does he have? Yeah, which meta magic? That's the one. Ah, yes, a thing. 
I have totally thought of, and I am not rushing to find his character sheet to read what that does. Meta magic. Da 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 we gain two of the following. Um Distance and subtle. There you go. Yes, I, didn't, I didn't read any of them, but I just picked two that sounded cool, so enjoy. Yes, <laughs> right, let me read his spells. Um... Uh, oh wait, fuck, I can't oh, remember that battle music in the fucker. <laughs> Hell yeah. No one's watching the stream, no one can hear this but me. <laughs> Wait, what? I put mean, music on. Pull up, up the stream. Uh, we get battle music. Yeah. Oh, you put battle music on. I, I've had music on the whole time of like five music. I've got my own music. Understandable. Where have I had this music? No idea. Come on, decide. What do you want to do? Hello. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted by the music. Um... <laughs> you just are the right fit for Villog. <laughs> yeah. I should just let him play this constantly now. Wait. Um, okay. Villog's gonna do subtle spell vicious mockery. Okay. Which means that it no longer has a vocal component. Okay. What is he gonna think about when he causes these people psychic damage? Um, he's gonna think ugly dogs. Okay. He's gonna attack one of the dogs. Yes. Nice. Vicious mockery. Uh, what level is this little bean? He's all five. I don't think that means he gets an improvement yet. <gasps> no, he gets the improvement at five. Yes, yeah. it does 2d4. The dogs need to do... Wisdom saving throw. Oof, wisdom. Ten. That probably fails. Let me double check. Yes, it fails. Oh my god. <laughs> the best bit is because the <laughs> there's no vocal component. They have no idea he exists. Just... The dogs just hurt. <laughs> they just whimper a little bit, like. Ooh. He takes three psychic damage. Oh yes, three psychic damage. You stupid fucking dogs. <laughs> okay, is that his turn? That is that 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 will be his turn. Yeah. Doki, the man is I, I to... mean, like, yeah, because I got to concentrate on Dragon's Breath. Isn't... Pull out his crossbow. And go for scum. Mm. Yes, ranged weapons except scum. I'm sorry. He's not supposed to have ranged weapons. <laughs> it's better than melee though. Like the dogs. Nineteen cannot, and twenty-three. Yeah, it... What weapon is he using? Crossbow. Does that have the loading property? Oh my god, it does. You yes. can't use extra attack with. Oh, you've got a point then. Uh, just the first one, twenty-three then. Yeah, that does. That that still hits. <laughs> I mean, it's better than the other one hitting. Yeah, it's better than both hitting. Oh, that is a reload one. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, one to eight. I had also forgotten that mechanic because I don't think crossbows are Oh, that's full damage. Ugh. That's quite a bit. Well, at least he doesn't have. Well, is it crossbow? Oh, or... yeah, at least the second shot isn't that thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. And then dogs who are just going to prepare action. Yeah, like prepare actions to bite you if you come close. Small sky. And then woman. <laughs> Let's have a look, woman. What have we got? Oh. Oh, yeah. 
So she's gonna cast a magic missile. Fuck. Yeah, I, I can't do shit about that. That's that is just free damage. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna wizard. Oh, so it's three of them, so it's three D. You should get like a anti-magic missile, magic weapon. Ah, uh, it's all low damage. Seven damage. And that is okay. her turn. Back to the top with Sky. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to rage. Okay. Um. And then, can I dragon breath the cats? Yeah. You can get all of them because they're all on you. Yeah. What does Dragon Breath do? Uh, it is. They need to do deck saves. Okay. The cats. And damage output. Is 3d6. Or half as much if they succeed. 13. Do yeah, they have more than 6 three. hit points? Uh, so. One the is alive. Passes, but the, others, the others fail. And very hurt, and doesn't look like they want to do this anymore. I do feel bad about this, but you know they're attacking. <laughs> I mean, you they, they the cats just flew up to you, and the others were like shooting at you, expecting you to like just throw more knives. You breathe fire. Yeah. True. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get angry and then breathe fire. You just like, you go, ugh, in frustration when you do, it's just, ugh. Because, I mean, like, technically you had no way of knowing that you had the dragon's breath, but that oh. way you can just play mechanically. Oh, well, I thought I would have felt it. No, I see. I mean, would have felt it. You would have felt it then, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like if someone casts magic on you that makes you pow more powerful, you feel the magic. Mm. You feel something inside of you. Alright, is that Sky's turn up? Yep. Okay, the other cat is going to disengage and and just move back. They are they are hurt. It is Villo's turn. Um. Uh, I mean, Villo Villo's probably just gonna do the same thing again. And tell the dogs they're stupid. Yeah. So wisdom saving throw. He'll he'll target the same dog. Okay. Not that he really knows what he's doing, but he'll target the same dog. Okay. You're really sad if he targets the last cat. <laughs> just... No. I was just... considering Fucking that, but I think does. Willow likes cats too much to be mean to them. Yeah. So I have a nice tool. They fail. They do they fail. Take the... I take three damage again. Wow, these I'm only getting twos and ones. Ah, it's fine. Oh wait, do we say push do we do we have that interactions rule? Interaction still, yeah. We have uh I need to actually write down the rule. If you use your action to drink a health potion, you get the full healing from that potion. Okay. You do not have I'm to roll. Not going to ask for any uh rack funding. Okay. Yeah, if you use an action to drink a health mm. potion, you get the full healing. Um, yeah. But if I you use the interaction, you have to roll. Because I think it just makes health potions more fair in that sense. Yeah. Then they can be used yeah. in a quick pinch. But then it's not like, like... If you're trying to drink it quickly, you're probably not going to get all of it. Yeah. But yeah. if you're, if you're you know, you've, you're putting a full turn into that yeah. drinking, you deserve to get the full. Yeah. Right, okay. It would have been a bit of a waste to try and get the full use last time, so I'm going to wait. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to hope I don't go down this round. Three more damage. Oh, are you looking that bad? No, I'm fine. I'm, well, I took almost half my health. Well, I mean, you're going to take probably another magic missile and another crossbow shot. That's why I and rage. No cats. Mm -hmm. No cats this time. Yeah. All right, another crossbow. Okay. Four. Yep, that hits. Your seven damage, so that's three Round damage. It down or up? Three damage. Round it down for players up for enemies. Yay! Uh, oh. 
dogs are just gonna like one of the one of them's just whimpering because they're getting insulted and they don't know from where or how or just understand uh they're gonna it's just got a headache it's getting a migraine yeah they're gonna move off and just try and like look for ways up to sky uh the woman wait they're moving away from villo Villo's not out there. Villo's in the forest. Yeah, I know, but they're moving. They're moving away from him, right? Yeah, they're like looking around okay. the cart for way, ways up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of them would still be close enough for him to cast Vicious Mockery, but the other one's like going around the other side of the cart. Uh, I'm gonna roll a quick thing. To well, I mean, the reason was okay. uh, the reason was the next Vicious Mockery was yeah, you better run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's gonna use a healing potion on the bird. Ah, oh, shit. I should have finished the third man. Oh, well. The 20 was, like, her fear. If she did higher, she's like, yeah, I got this. But if it was too low, she's like, no, I need I need help. So <laughs> she's got the bird man up with a healing potion that has been taken from the cart. Oh, uh, you need to roll up. the man's initiative. Yep. Nineteen, I believe that was just after cats. Okay, cool. Uh, up next is Sky. Back to the top. Um, I'm gonna be a dick. He gets, he gets potion. I'm just gonna throw two more knives at him. Oh my god, yes. Well, this this is taking a risk. Mm -hmm. How many knives do you have? Uh, two after this. Okay. Both of those here. <laughs> Another 20 heads up and just immediately back down. He's back down. <laughs> You're like, no, down. <laughs> okay, uh, cat. the cat is just like, they've landed back on the floor and they're hiding behind the woman. They don't want to fight you. Uh, right, they're hiding behind Villo and no one, neither of them realize. <laughs> <laughs> they're like in the same bush and neither of them realize they're there. They look at uh, each other and they just like snuggle up. Oh yes. Like they're not fighting. Okay, bird's back down so his initiative doesn't count. Villo, your turn. <laughs> um. Yeah, you better run, you stupid fucking dog. He's a wizard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Save. <laughs> it's like if a Twelve. mercy residue and then just immediately gets hooked by a hawk. Yeah, yeah, literally. It takes five damage this time, let's go. He's having such a bad day, this dog is so confused. Okay. At this point, it's probably doing that thing that like dogs occasionally do, where they like put their head on the ground and put their front paws over their head. Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> okay, he's going for another crossbow shot. Eighteen. That. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That hits me. Two more levels until that doesn't. Plus four. Oh, four, the ability five damage. Uh, dogs. Yeah. That yeah, they're just. The suffering and woman. She got another health potion, maybe. <laughs> Given what I just did, I don't know if it's worth her time. <laughs> she, she just like feeds him the health potion. He immediately gets a knife to the face, and she just looks up at you like, "Bro, what the fuck?" She's gonna cast Earth Bind. Spawn camping. <laughs> I need what, what? a strength saving throw from Sky, please. Oh uh, no. Does Rage give me plus two to strength saves? <gasps> no! Wait! Wait! Let me check something! <laughs> Let me check something! She's gonna use an interaction to just lazily throw another health potion on. Get up, you stupid twat! Yes. Have advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Motherfucker, I give you counter spell. Okay, so he counter spells. How does hmm. counter spell work? It just stops the spell, the spell if it's. Happen. Yeah. So you hear her casting and she's like, ha! 
and nothing happens. Can they hear you cast that though, Velo? Um, let me check. Could subtle spell it. Uh, has he got points spell. left to subtle spell? Or have you been yeah, using he's got. Points? He's got two points left. Um, Good subtle spell. Ah! Uh, no, so I don't get anything. That's... Oh wait, no, you have advantage on strength checks and saves. Mm. No, it's only somatic components. Okay. So he doesn't even need to subtle spell. Alright. The spell does not happen, back to the top of the sky. He, the bird's back up again, but like with a lot less hit points because she only did an interaction. Oh, he's, so he's still... He, he got back up because oh, she threw another again. one on him. They've just raided the thing for fucking. You're strong. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. Oh god. I'm gonna make him stay. I'm gonna make him sit the fuck down. <laughs> I don't oh, want Jesus. him up. Fair. Do either of those hit? They don't. Can I make them hit with luck? You can. Uh, so that's... I've used... Um, uh, so... You did might I only need one of them. Can I make the second hit with luck after I know if the first one downs him again or not? Uh, I'd say no. Really? Just do I know it, that could be used later in the future? In which case, you have I to will decide to use luck points best before three you. Point. Did I start today well, with I mean, twenty or ten? Usually, you would roll the attack separately. That's true. Mm -hmm. Especially since one's an action, one's a bonus action. All right, go ahead. That is true. Um, give me one moment. I'm doing things. Did I start with 20 or 10 today? 10. Uh, does this take him back down? It does not. Okay, so... Then I will use an additional luck point. Or two additional. 19. I have used five of my lock points. He is in like three barely now. standing. <laughs> he has one hit point. Oh, for fuck's sake! He is standing on. The I imagine I, I take he it is... luck can't be used on damage. No. Damn. For the sake that you could store up thirty points and then hit someone oh, yeah, for thirty damage. One shot them. Yeah. They just punch someone, storing up thirty, and they're just dead. Jesus. No, because there's no roll involved with punching someone unless you're a monk. Yeah, there is. No, but I said if there's luck, can you add luck to damage? No. Well, yeah, but I would imagine it. You add it to the dice. You can't just add it to a flat thing, right? Because there's no luck involved with a flat thing. I mean, you can get a lucky strike. Mm. Yeah, but that's... I know, it doesn't matter, you can't do it like anyway. You find so. a lucky opening, rather than yeah. you okay. get a lucky run. So, cats continue anyway. uh, to move away. Velo, your turn. No, Bird's turn. Bird's still has one HP. Yeah. Bird is going to move into melee range with you. Uh, that's not good. Good evening. <laughs> no, he would not be saying good evening after he's been knocked no. down twice and is on one health. I am sorry, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not You'd be like, oh, you. That? thank you. You suck. I think you I'm on so eight rage. You suck. Is that. Was that my. Uh, I'm just got eight turns of rage left. Uh, okay. Eight rounds. He's gonna rage. hit you. Cool. Oh, he's. Oh. He, no, he is gonna hit you. I, I was oh, gonna dear. say, oh, oh no. How bad is how badly is he going to hit me? Is it just regular slashing damage? Yeah, this is regular slashing damage. Well, okay, it turns out that Barbarian Rage actually mitigates magical slashing as well. Huh. It gives you resistance to that. Okay, so how does it specifically that... say non-magical? 
Oh no. no, it does just say resistance, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Interesting. But magic missile is force, so that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, 17 divided by 2 is 8. Mm -hmm. This is a. Uh, but I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm alive. You're alive? Okay. I'm still awake. Uh, Velo's turn. Bud looks stupid. Bud looks. Bud is gonna die! Bud is gonna die! Yes. He's, vicious he's, gonna, he's just gonna fall to the ground. He's gonna hit yes. slice me twice and then just fall He's going to, to take a ground. failed death save from the full damage as well. Yeah. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> And he did. He just. There's no point making a save because he takes. Oh no! It's a cantrip. He could save it. He could save yeah, it. Yeah, he saved his life. It's a wisdom, right? I really hope yeah. he, fa he needs to fail for my sake. Seven. He fails. He fails. He's, He's down. down. <laughs> he hits the floor. And uh, how high are you up in the air? Um. Twenty thirty feet. How? I think I'd be like thirty. Because that's like my flight. 13 additional damage from falling. Oh, shit. It's just a failed death save. Um, man. Man has Rip. crossbow. I like to imagine. I like to imagine Velo is not even consciously trying to do any of this, yeah, by the way. I love him. He's, he's, just, he's just assaulting them oh, in his come head. Come on. I haven't missed you. <laughs> You've not. It's me. It's... I'm so glad I raged. Seven. So three. That is... Okay. Is it her turn now? Uh, it is dogs who are still contemplating life and death, and it is her turn. Uh, she's going to attempt another Earthbind. Because she's just confused. She doesn't know what happened to the other one, so she's like, I'm going to try again. <laughs> Guess what's going to happen to this one? Counterspell? Uh, let me check. I can actually cast that again. Because uh, it is... Yeah, no, he's got two third level spell slots, so okay. he can counter spell again. And she's still confused because I assume you use your last sorcery point. How to... does count? Does well, counter no, spell... counter counter spell is somatic. Oh, okay. There is he no verbal component. To. Fair enough. So Villo 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 just waves his arms and goes no. from the bushes, no. and the earthbind doesn't work. No, is, that, is it just is it just a flat? The spell doesn't work. Yes. Yeah. If it, if, if it's... it's if it's third level or lower, then yes. If That's... not, you have to make it a save. I just love him. Find, I think his second level. I love him because he's just like no. <laughs> he just waves his little paw and goes no. Nothing from you. No. <clears throat> Back to the top if of the sky. If this was me, I would be terrified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As far as they're aware, Sky is just tanking all this damage and ignoring some spells. Yeah. I'm going to use my bonus action to create an echo in front of, uh, the dude. Okay. And then I am going to drink my big healing potion. Okay. Use my action to drink the big healing potion. Full healing from that one. Which would give me 42. Yep. No, 52 hit points back. Because it's 5d8 plus points. 12. Which puts me back to full. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, my fucking god! We which just hit the round one. two, baby. Round two. I'm amazed you're tanking me. Because this would be like an encounter for the entire party that you're going to tank. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's it is a lower it's level. It is level a lower, we are yeah. level now, so, so it's probably for like level three or four. Yeah, yeah. Any any member of the party who can fly could probably solo this pretty easily. Yeah, unless I, if they got earthbind. The, the only reason I am alive is because I did one burst the bird. Yeah, you did yeah, one burst the bird because he I does would, a lot of damage. I would and also be down. also counter spell. <laughs> Oh, yes. I, I don't know, I could- I was on 14 before. Because he's their fighter rogue, so... Yeah, but Earth, Earthbind right. just means that you can't fly, which means you'll go- you'll get dog sticking you. Yeah, and ah, the crossbow guy would have two attacks. He'd have two attacks, because he doesn't- That's very- yeah, okay. Uh, so, thank you, Villo. Yeah, Villo has saved you all. Although, I would have advantage on the strength save. True. Even uh, so, but it's not risky. Yeah, your turn to go. Oh wait, no, you use your turn for Yeah, that. that was my turn. The cat is still gone. I'm just going to wipe them off initiative. Um, bird is down. Villo, what would you like, like to I do? I just realised instead of meleeing the bird when he came into close range, you should have fire breathed him. <laughs> I Look, didn't melee the bird. You, you I didn't do anything to the bird. You did what to the bird? He did nothing to the bird. The bird meleeed him and then you killed the bird from Vicious Mockery. Oh, yeah, right, of course, darling. <laughs> yeah, the bird came up to me and then just 
died. Yeah, passed out. <laughs> Okay. He, he just he you see him like clock a thought, he's like, ow, and then falls unconscious. <laughs> just, just hears his villa's little voice and says goes, ouch, okay, and then just falls unconscious. Okay, Villa, what would you like to Bitch. do as your main turn? Oh, Villa. it's Villo. It's yeah. Villo. Um uh Last sorcery point for a vicious mockery on the dog. Okay. Oh, wisdom save talk. dog. Wisdom save dog. I had like a, a sort of medicine tablet packet thing, which I managed it to bend takes in six such damage. a way. That so dog is dead. <laughs> he killed the dog. Well, the dog's been just insulted to death. <laughs> he's been insulted. Yeah. He's been told he's a bad he... boy so much he just dies. The worst bit is he doesn't even hear himself being called a bad boy. <laughs> or spell. He just, he's just, he just gets a headache. Like, <laughs> dies of headache. Like, they are really Passes mean looking out. dogs, but like, you've just killed an innocent animal. They're not innocent, no, they're not innocent, but you've killed some dogs. The bird looks so doesn't know what it's doing. Yeah, poor dog. Um, man's turn. Man has crossbow. There is also an echo in his face. Ah, true. He can but make an extra attack with. Me. A blade, can't he? But not a crossbow. Uh, so like, if he shoots the crossbow and hit attacks with a blade. Yeah, uh, I'd say. Me... Yeah, I'd say that's allowed because he can me... shoot the crossbow and then draw the yeah. sword. It's like the the winding back crossbow that's the. Yeah, that's the the delayed one. Okay, so the 19's on you, and then with the blade, the 26 is on the echo. Yeah. So is the echo just instant dead one HP? Uh, yes. Yeah, no, loading specifies you can only fire one piece of ammunition, so yeah, okay, you could so yeah. still... I that goes down and you take three damage. Uh, on to the dog. The other dog's looking at its friend that has been insulted to death and just Aww. runs off because it's confused Aww. and sad and doesn't know what to do. Aww. Woman. Alright, she's out of those level spell slots, so she's gonna... Villo dismantled the animals. Yeah. They just realised that. Because it was the dragon's own. breath that got the cat. Um, fuck, uh, magic missile. Uh, okay. For nine damage. Uh, that's her turn back to the top of the sky. What would you like to see? Oh, if I hadn't healed, I would have been on two hit points oh right now. Uh, I'm out of knives. Mm -hmm. So I am going to fire... <laughs> Fire an arrow at um, the dude. Okay. 1d20 plus 7. Oop. I am going to miss. Um, and then I'm going to have my echo attack uh, the guy with a slash. Okay. 9. Your echo so died. Oh yeah, the echo died, didn't it? In that case, I will create a new echo. Okay. Uh, in his face. Which does the same thing. <laughs> yes, which again can't do anything. Nice. But uh, it's sitting there. It's there, thinking about. Uh, cats are gone, birds gone, billow. Your turn. What would you like to do? Um, let me. Review my options again. Fireball is always an option. No, it's not. I've run out of third level slots and can't ah. Fireball was an option for the tiny devil bean with Candy King. Um. <sighs> let me let me just look up. Create bonfire. <laughs> Yeah, Why is my battle music calm and weird? I'm sure I Um. Oh my god, where why where do I know all of this music from? <laughs> Uh, 
Wyatt, no. Oh, there we go. Spartans, is it? Come on, Villa, what do you want to do? Think, think. I'm Panic. reading my spell! Panic. Because I can't just pull it up on the app, because obviously it's just screenshots. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, Villa's going to do nothing. Villa's going to do nothing? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to hide. Man's time. Roll intelligent save to see if he chases a butterfly. Okay. I love him. He does not chase a butterfly. He's focused. That was on Sky. Oh, so no. wait, hang on. Should I should I roll my d20s that I should have been rolling when I was casting spells? Oh, god, yes. Because the counter the counter spells that was on should the echo. Have the echo's that. down again. But you are you did not get hit by him. Dog's gone. Woman's turn. Uh, let's see what's first level spell she has. Is that how many d20s are you rolling? Is it two? Uh, yeah, I only cast counter spell twice, and that's what the only like, level spell. I oh, leveled spell. That's a cantrip. That's a cantrip. Yeah. Ah, two, one, d20. Which one? That's fine. Um. She's gonna attempt to sleep on you. You what? Attempt to make you sleep. Fourteen? Doubtless. Uh no, that's okay. not enough. Moving back to Sky, your turn. Uh I am going to repeat my last turn. Okay. An arrow into the man. Uh that and hits. An echo in his face. Uh, what's the damage? <laughs> Bill, oh, I can hear you. Nine damage onto man. Oh, Nine God. damage. How would you like to do that? <gasps> is he dead? He is dead. He is down. Just straight in the chest. Oh, nice. Kind of stumbles back and hits the ground, leaving only the wizard lady left. Uh, I'm gonna make and can I the echo then the echo go can, in front yeah. of her? That's fine by me. Uh, Velo, your turn. If they run, I'm not chasing them. Like they they're choosing to stand and fight. Oh, you say it's my turn. Yep. I'm gonna make an intelligence save. <laughs> but he just he's not interested in butterflies right now. No, this no, guy's just so cool. Blood he wants to lick that blood off the floor when you're done. <laughs> oh, there's my luck. <laughs> oh, that's all of my luck gone. Oh. Oh, well. Uh, okay, uh, on to the woman's turn. I should probably actually write down my luck. It's a good idea. It Wait, do I get that extra 10 at the end, or do I not get it? Extra 10? Uh, yeah, you'll get that extra 10 at the end. Okay. Because that's like the end of the last session for everyone else, yeah. and then this, since this is a mini session just for you, and obviously the special guest Bill. The luck, the luck for doing all this bullshit. Yeah. Okay, she is going to run. That's that's okay. She can run. She's allowed. Which means the battle is won. Um, I'm not gonna opportunity attack her with the mm -hmm. echo. I'm just going to let her run. Okay. Okay, so how do I get the stuff back? Like, where's it going? Is it going to the town? Go back to the Hello, Hello is walking out the bush go. making that noise, by the way. <laughs> Hello, we're done. Uh -huh. So I am going to start packing away the magic items. Okay. Into the car, and then would I take them back to Blake's shop? Yeah, you need to take them back to Raytheon to... Uh, yeah. I will do that. Yeah, put their intelligence back. is not good. They're going to walk up to Velo. It's the tiny cat that's living. Mm. Velo, the tiny flying cat is approaching you, limping because they are very hurt and singed. I'm going to put my hand on their head. You are <laughs> lovely. 
Have you seen that um, video with the where the dog, like there's two dogs walking around, dude lying on the floor. I think he like, no, his he squeak. He has some squeaky toy. Oh my god, and it whacks his butt. It's amazing. I love it. But it like it gently, yeah. just just straight arm. Just, I imagine that's what Villo is doing to the cat. Yeah. Just gently, just Gen straight arm. Gently plop. Yeah, no, when when Erikar gets back, it's going to be... Uh, Velo, what's that? A smoothie? It has two yeah, tails. Is... And mm. and then there'll be a cat behind him. It's a smoothie. It's either Velo or not three tails? Maybe it is three. Either way, he's judging you. <laughs> In that picture, he's judging you. Okay. Now. We're ignoring what I said. Yeah, we are. Uh, here comes the fun pop. Uh, you know, after you kind of get the horses together, the horses, like, were very well trained, so they, after kind of the fight, uh, they settle down, listen to your commands, get back into it, and help you get back on the road. Yeah. So what I'd do is I'd pack up, I'd collect my knives and uh, weapons back, and my arrows back, mm -hmm. if I can. And I collect all of them up. Uh, how many did you throw? I threw uh, five of the d8 daggers and six of the d6 daggers okay roll me like, a they are daggers not arrows yeah true all the daggers are back um and i shot two arms oh, not gonna bother with those two arrows <laughs> she just keeps up okay they, they both um, broke it's fine your pause discord while i'm still private dms so it isn't looking at our dms but here is the list of magic items you get to choose from. So what I would do is I would drive it all and then pick from Oh my fucking god. Yeah, obviously you pick from it uh, afterwards. But actually I'll give it... I, I wanted Shira to see it too, so I put it in the private DMs, but I will also put it in... You do not have to decide today. This is a very long list. I know. Um, I'm also going to put it in the next chat, just so I can show it off to the stream. To what's there but yeah, yeah oh we can get a replacement bag of holding yeah bag oh. because cassius lost his cassius oh, had it because yeah. cassius had the bag of holding filled with I like a lot of stuff that, that was worth a lot of money and died with it well i mean uh didn't die with it that's where we put all of our loot from the yeah he had yeah. all the crystals oh, we lost so much stuff because of him yeah we were gonna have so much money yeah it was a massive loss, that was. But yeah, Bag of Holding, Pike oh, of Ice. Honestly, Bag of Holding, bigger loss than, than Cassius. Oh my like, god. Okay, okay. To, oh. Wow, okay, that's... What did he contribute? Friendship. I don't remember what people did or didn't. Yeah. Perfect longbow for Savage, that sounds cool. Yeah, so if you guys want to look through that art session, obviously, but we'll just say you took two items mm, from here. I, I don't I want to alarm alarm you, but there is the Asheron blade in there. What's the Asheron blade? It's pretty decent. It's a rare magic item. But what kind of sword is it? Is I it a straight I think sword? I'm pretty sure it's just a sword, so you can decide. Let me double check. Asheron blade. Weapon, any sword. Rare requires two. Yeah. Black blade the sword is crafted from mysterious arcane alloy. Be the plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. While the sword is on your person, you are immune to the effects that turn undead. Dark blessing, while holding the sword, you can use an action to give yourself 1d4 plus 4 temporary hit points. This property can't be used until next dusk. And disheartening strike, when you hit a creature with an attack using this weapon, you can fill the target with unsettling dread. The target has disadvantage on the next saving throw it makes before the end of your next turn. This creature ignores the, uh, the creature ignores this effect if it is immune to the frightened condition. Once you use this property, you cannot do so until next dawn. If I can make it a short sword, then mm -hmm. yes. If it's well, maybe. If it's not a short sword, then no. You can you can make it any any, any sword. Blade. Well, I can. I'd Ooh, recommend rapier. rapier. I'd recommend a rapier. Rapier or does short sword. rapier does more damage and is still finesse. Yeah, but it's not dual wielding. True. That is true. I can also do, a deal more hammer. damage to your wielding. <laughs> 20 arrows. That's, that's a strength weapon. A lot of scrolls. You could take the dual wielder feet next time you take a feet. Uh, I have, I need my feet for other things. 
Oh, I okay. do take dual wield a feat, but that's not for a while. Mm. Yeah, ton of scrolls, Bane, Blooming Blade, Chill Touch, Fairy Fire, Flame Blade, Offering, Spear, Infestation, Infestation. Scroll of Summon, Lesser Demon, what the fuck? When I am character level 14 is when I take the dual wield a feat. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll be a huge upgrade. There's also a bunch you of you can, healing potions. You can hit the on all of your... Mm. So I will... Oh, okay. Is... Is that it for this session then, or...? Uh... Unless if you want to... You've still got, you know, the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> I, if I can earn Zach, more money, I'm going to earn some more yeah, money. Zach, Zach did, you, did you want the braces of archery? Eh, non sky Oh, that was someone else. Fuck. Uh, it was Koza and Koza got them. Oh, okay. Like, they're good. I saw that, I was like, oh my god, that's really what Zach wanted. I just, I don't use my bow as much. Yeah. The Rapier of Warning is also there, holy shit. Blake just seems, when you kind of step back in, um, quite, ex you know, happy that you've got made it back. But also noticing the, the little flying cat that's now with you. Great job! Oh, it's with us. Thank you. Obviously, I didn't mention the additional reward that would be coming with it. <laughs> mm. Well, two items, any of your choice. Don't be too pressured to uh, pick now. You can come back tomorrow morning, this afternoon, think about it, and he kind of hands you the list. So if you want to discuss it with your party, you can go away and come back and pick up the two items. Free of charge. Uh, I was... went out and got these <laughs> items. They're yours. They're my items. That is I'm entirely so fair. He's also going to hand across five platinum pieces. <gasps> yes. Holy shit. Payment. Damn, that's, that's a big reward. Thank you. Well, mm. you do a favour for me, I do a favour for you. Yeah. Uh, let me have a look and know which. If I can do. <laughs> One more quest. <laughs> it is kind of getting like 2 3 pm now in the afternoon. So it okay, might be more so then. like you take like a little job in the town. So more like, yeah, you know, maybe, help maybe some old woman. Lunchtime. <laughs> Lunchtime. Okay, we can go get something to eat. I love him. I love him so much. Um, Tell Tiki I said hi. I will. Don't worry. Yeah, no, I, don't, I guess I don't have enough time to do any of the rest of these quests. Mm. I don't know what, what job. Why would I look for something that needs doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm sleepy. You're sleepy. Is this Philo? I have no idea if it's Philo. Uh. I guess that's going to be it then. Yeah. Unless I can, I don't think there's really anywhere else I could go have a look. Okay. Like, I don't know what else to do. Fair enough. Just end it there for them. Well, I, we I want to do other stuff, but I can't think Start of discussion anything. with Erica. Available. What? Wait, what? So Erica is the only one actually heading back to Edry. So you could, oh. he's the one that you could catch and like talk about what they did, which isn't what actually a recorded doing? session, so. The others, yeah. uh, Revia is sleeping in the woods, and the other two uh. are going to get massages at the fanciest hotel they could find. <laughs> um, because Revia <laughs> does not want to spend money on any hotel or food or luxuries, so he said, I'm going to go sleep in a tree, and the others went, yeah, we're going to go get a bath and a massage. <laughs> And oh, breakfast, okay. dinner, and the best beds money can buy. Sky is going to get free food and free so bed. Good. Right, as you kind of head back with Billow and the flying cat, um, Erikai, as you're heading back to the uh, brothel, or even just in the brothel, sitting in the main room, getting some dinner. You may say I was just sort of sightseeing for most of the, oh, yeah, the rest absolutely. of the day. Yeah. Just having a look around Edry, see what's there. Ooh, look around Edry, you say? Is that Edry? No. You are back in Edry, yeah. That's yeah. the town. 
just yeah, just vibe in entry. I might send you something if you're so Put Villo in like a bag, not like put Villo in a little bag. But in like your backpack, so he can yeah, be safer. Backpack. Yeah, so he can see. Ow, maybe his head's sticking out, but he uh, doesn't look like a sprite as much. It just makes him look like a bag. Like a kid's bag. That, that was something you were going to do, is like design him one of those like yeah. cat bags where the cat can sit one second. I, I, gotta, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but just in case. No, 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 no. Like, we're going to design like a strap that, like, you know the baby carriers? The oh, okay. Yeah, like that, but he it makes him just look like a backpack. Like, he is the backpack. Okay, I was thinking more like this, where you just whack him in a backpack, which has a little window that he can see out of, and he just stares at people, but he can't escape the bag, or else he just disappear. So, but you're... whenever Eric... Yeah, carry on. Sorry. No, it's... you finish first. I was just gonna say, he's thinking more like this, because this also appeared directly under it. It's just a cat backpack, which <laughs> is just a cat. <laughs> So when what time does Arakai get back? They kind of get it was back. Pretty late, right? You guys kind of. It was unsure. I think it was more kind of. It was like evening though. Yeah, it was like, like six we had a p.m. Full on day. We had the we had the investigation. We had the fight with the Fae. Mm -hmm. We had the interrogation with the Fae, which took like two hours. That was so funny. That was oh, that was. The, I wish I would have recorded <laughs> Wait, that. Was that two oh. real hours? No, 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 no. No, no, it no. Took, it, it took Eric two and gay hours because. But like, Eric main... lost his mind he interrogating lost. a Fae and then ripped it to shreds. Because he was like, "Okay, where's the base?" And they said, "Over there." And then they were like like in which forest and it's like the forest where the base is and it was just twisting the words over and over and over again and he was like we need to go find the people in the forest over there near the base to the west where the people are where the and it was just kept looping and it was oh it was, it was the best thing ever but yeah you you kind of wander in for dinner and you see erica getting dinner as well in the main hall just he's, he, he's he still got like some he, he, like his skin's a little bit charred. He's got some static in his hair, and there's a bit of blood on him. Yeah. So if it's so, it's gotta do like three and a half to four and a half hours of sightseeing. Yeah, that's fine. I'll send you something in private. Back for dinner. Because you may have seen something. Don't talk to me. I found some lore. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you wonder and you see Erica, the only one there, just kind of looking a bit exhausted done with his day and looks like he's been struck by multiple bolts of lightning with how static his hair is. Hey, oh, hey, where's guy. That, where's that Did you enjoy a lion? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just say like, wipe, uh, just wiping a little scar or some cut or something. Where's everyone else? Mm, who are we still? I wanted to come home for the night. I've, I've been through a lot. Oh. My best friend almost died. You know, it's, it's been a day. Oh. Put like a comforting arm over his shoulder or something. Yeah. Thank you. Bello's gonna walk up and go, I have a cat. Oh, is the cat just coming with us? The cat is coming. He's, he's picked up the cat and he's holding I... him up. The cat that I scorched yes. decides to come with me. They rolled a one on their intelligence. Okay. <laughs> Villo seemed like a friendly fellow kitten. So they the friendliness of Villo <laughs> overrides. He walked out the bush just going... <laughs> yeah. The friendliness of Villo overrides. Yeah, sky. overrides any form of intelligence. Um... So we just have a cat now? Okay, um, I, pet, I pet um, the cat. We don't have to take it with us. What the fuck else do we do? I'm not going to leave a cat out to be a stray. Pet shop? Pet like shop? A nice, nice pet shop. We just hand it over. Like, please I take don't care think... of this cat. I... I think we might have, like, animal protective services called on us if we handed in this cat. Who appears to be singed, by the way. Oh. <laughs> that. Don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> I, I went and did 
I got I, I did a little mini quest. Okay. Oh my god. Speaking of which, uh I will reveal which two items I got. I don't know what those are as a player right now. No worries. But actually, you will no, I, don't think, I don't think Sky would bother. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I've already oh. said it, but nah, yeah, Eric, I said to do, and that you managed to keep your love shake as well. Uh, yeah. Head, so I thought Villo, you. Villo helped. I think I don't think I would have made it if he wasn't there. Villo helped. Yes. I saw the dogs. They were buddy. mean. The dogs were really mean, and they ran away. And one of them went to sleep. Okay. And I got a bird too. And then made Eric, Sky breathe fire. Eric, I just like looks at Sky like. What? It's a long story. I well, it's not that long. I can sit down and tell you if you want. <laughs> sure, buddy. I will vaguely recount the tale of the shit that I did today. Oh, awesome. cool. You got five platinum in that, huh? Nice. I have platinum closer to cool weapons. Cool weapons. Cool weapons are nice. I don't know. I got something pretty nice today as well. But Ooh. yeah. So I guess whichever item I pick would be clearly know. visible. Yeah. Like if I chose the bag of holding, I would just have a bag of holding on on me. True. Maybe Erika is just too tired to notice. He's very he's, tired. He's very, he's very tired. He almost died today. Oh. He got one shot by a chain lightning. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So hang on. I now have my my friend Mouse Tyron. I my my small little god friend below. Hello. And and and. My small little god friend's little cat who has wings and three tails. Mm. What's we need to give her a name. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, you name it, buddy. Sky, I don't want to name it, this feels like pressure. I don't know what to call them. Is it. Let's get a gender neutral name, so I don't know. Jobs. <laughs> I don't know why that's the first thing that came because I saw the little it... chubby cat there. Yeah. Ah, <clears throat> uh, you work for him. Hmm. Yeah. That was adorable, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I don't know what you're for him. Mm. What about Claw? Because he has claws. Hey. Uh, uh, why don't we call him Scorch? Because he has Scorch Marks! Scorch no. works. Scorch works. Okay. You just made him get called Scorch now. How do I spell Scorch? I'm having a moment. There we go. S C O R C H. Scorch is Kitty Compiling. They are actually a familiar to you, so you're capable of becoming a familiar. Um, Very well, I guess. Okay. Well, um, I mean, let me, let, me, let me recount my day for you, actually, since it's probably good to know this stuff. Um, okay, so we started the day, you know, nice simple, we went to Blake's, we got a job, the job was to find the missing children, um, so we went to the school, we investigated the school, uh, we found some green communication crystals in some of the rooms, 
Uh, we found tampered windows, so we figured that it was someone who could fly to get into the windows. The, then... Your mic's going static again. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and then, um, oh god, what's his face? The cleric guy? Rivia? Yeah, that did. <laughs> um, wow. Wow. He he cast a bit of detect evil and good, uh, which meant that we found a fucking fairy in the oh. bush. Um, <laughs> they jumped the fairy. Then I spent two hours <laughs> interrogating that piece of shit. <laughs> You can hear its voice echoing in your mind. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a nightmare. To Let me make a note of that. Nightmare of a No, why? Anyway, continue. Two hours, um, and by the time I finally got all the information out of him, I... lost the will to hold back my anger and snapped and may have dismembered him. Oh. Hence the blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bought these clothes yesterday, man. Anyway, Oof. I just got washed. It's fine. Um. Uh, Tillon's asking, a lock points a player item or character item? Hmm, I will decide that after this session. Okay. I'll probably give it. Uh, no, I've got an answer. I'd say players. It's better. players, player item, because it's the player that does stuff. Yeah. You know, it's the player that plays the character, and I've given him a character that isn't his, and he's playing them well. Yeah. Aside the few comments that are like jabs at me for killing his character, but you know that's his own fault <laughs> for getting killed. You know, if you don't want to die, get good. Okay, I guess we're just revealing to Sky that. Uh... Dead. It's fine. It's fine. You're gonna find out tomorrow. Anyway. No, he's not dead yet. Yeah. Are we gonna find out tomorrow? Yeah. The end of tomorrow. Oh. I thought you said he made it out alive. He yeah, did. he did. And then he did something he stupid. He did something really fucking stupid. Oh, and uh, died. What did he... Can I know we'll find did? out tomorrow! Yeah. I'm okay. sure. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to be the worst thing ever. Because it will—you'll get the good news he's alive, and then three hours later, you'll get the news that he's no longer. Alive. Oh, no. Don't worry, you'll get the news from a really plot-relevant character. Ah. Uh. Don't worry about it. Yeah, anyway. he's progressing the plot a little bit faster than I'd like. Um, yeah, so then we brought in this dock dude, because the fairy revealed that the dock dude was, like, involved in the experiments they were doing on the children. I'll get into what they were doing to the children in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we threatened to cut off one of his testicles. And, uh, <laughs> that was the best part of that session. That was the best part. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no, I, I I do appreciate Cole and his uh, creativity. Mm. Um. So yeah, that was that was a thing that happened. Uh, he gave us an address of where the lab was. Um, and he told us some some fun information like, um, what they do. Like they 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 attach. Get get this right. If uh if a, if a noble child, uh, the child of a noble is born without like wings or something, oh, wait. they will take wings from a peasant child and put them onto the noble child so that they are skyborn. Ah. Wait, I was not listening to that and i i heard them move something from the something to the skyboard they they move the wings from the peasant child they you know cut them off mm. 
and put them onto the, the noble-born child to make them skyborn so that they aren't less, oh. uh, you know, for social standing. And uh, get this oh. though, right? One of one of the customers <laughs> was an old father carry on this. Uh, specifically for his children. So, there you go. That's... Not fun. Oh, I'm uh, so... Sky, for the sake of future reveals regarding your backstory, please take note of what Erica has just said. Can you please repeat what you just said? I was responding to Dylan. <laughs> All Father Cariel was involved. Well, no, more so the fact that they are moving. Child. Yeah. They're, they're doing... That they are making noble children. Um, Skyborn by, by basically by giving them wings. And he would also add to the fact that they can actually move entirely magical effects. Which yeah, is what so I was happening. about to get. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, if, they, if, a, if a lowborn child has some high magic potential and might kidnap that child in order to give their magic potential to a highborn child. Um, oh. Yeah, no, it's really fucking awful. Yeah, no, that's not okay. Yeah, and it wouldn't surprise me if there were some other locations that had the same thing going on. I doubt that was the only one. But anyway, speaking of locations, oh. we went to the address the doctor gave us, and it was truthful because it was, okay. you know, zone of truth, I didn't lie. Um... We went there, and, um, you know, we found, what, 11 of the missing children? Yeah, 11. Out of 15. Uh -oh. uh, which is pretty good. Uh, we confirmed one of them was dead, so we technically found 12. <laughs> uh, which is, you know, always not Better than none of them. at all. Yep. Um, Who is so, the dude yeah, that's involved? You know, one is confirmed uh, dead. Three are missing still. Eleven are traumatized, probably. Yeah, that's not gonna leave them. Yeah, and uh, what was the question you asked? Sorry? Who was the dude that you said was involved? Oh, uh, the, the doctor. What was his name? Gabby? Oh, we all took the piss out of him for his name because <laughs> he, he did it. Um, literally, he, he goes by the doctor because he doesn't like his name. So when uh, we found like, out his name, we, out, like we an just... important person. All Father Carriel. Carriel. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, no, he was he was a customer. Uh, spelled K A R R I O L. A A K A R I O L. Okay, I had spelled that mostly entirely wrong. <laughs> um, so yeah, he he got his children. I don't know if he got his children better magic potential or gave them wings or both, but either way, a uh, fucking disgusting thing to do. And a further reason as to why we should uh, probably not just accept the the. Yep. Yeah, you get the gist. Um. Uh, so yeah, um, we then went into one of the further back rooms, um, there was, there was a dude there who was, like, mid-operation. Oh. He looked like he was sucking the soul out of a child and putting it into another. Uh. uh which mm -hmm. I assume would have killed one of them, or both of them. Probably just one of them, though. Yeah. Uh, but we managed to save both of those kids, I think. That's good. They looked stable enough. Um, one of them looked healthy, the other one did not look healthy. Where, where did they you were put stable. the kids after you Um, The got royal out. guard came and joined us for the raid. Royal, uh... It's fine, I don't think the Wistel... I don't think the Wistel's royal guard is, is that bad. Okay. <laughs> um... 
plus like this was very much in the view of the public eye so it'd be very difficult to cover ah, up if they were doing something that's true. close with it um i also uh i also asked the headmistress to make sure that the doctor didn't go free uh through yeah. holes in the legal system put there by people who are high up in the world okay. um so he he sh he should be stuck good good <laughs> He should probably be executed. He should probably be executed. Uh, he probably won't be executed, but, you yeah. know, at least he won't be free. Yeah, it's I like... hope he's executed. I might actually go watch that execution if it happens. Just so oh. he can see me holding my middle finger at him. Uh, <laughs> so you see but you'll, you'll be like, can I do it? <laughs> Honest. Let me do it. Let me do it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's always fun. Um, yeah, then uh, after he, f like, this, after this spellcaster, like, fucking finessed the shit out of me, uh, dodged all of my attacks, he just point blank chain lightning um, my face. Uh, I go unconscious. And that's the last thing I remember for a little while. Uh, when I wake up, he is dead. Uh, the caster and Tyren is barely alive and I am practically crying. And it's all very sad, but he's fine now. Um, aren't you, buddy? Do you, you want a hug? Okay. I can make that help. The hugs do help, yes. Okay. Um, but you know, then I went to. Uh, oh yeah, and then after the raid, um, Rivier's new lizard thing gave me a potion. He gave us all potions, actually. My God, I love Ollie. Um, <laughs> Who would you push? And, and um, yeah, so I I, I drank the potion because it would be impolite not to. He's very cute, and um, the result was I vomited up a pendant. Oh. Well. Um. No idea what the pendant did, so naturally I uh, went to Blake A in order to go home and B to ask him to cast identify on it. Uh, he told me that the pendant would uh, grant the wearer um, some uh, health benefits. You know, like close up a few wounds or, mm. and all that. If um, if they consumed the flesh of a humanoid. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, indeed. Yeah. So no. I asked him to uh, very politely take that off my hands, uh, and in exchange, he gave me the uh, pendant of nine lives, which. That sounds better. Uh, Tyrin, Tyrin is now wearing. Yes. Um, he now uh, he can now die nine times without dying. That's cool. It is cool. Um, oh, I want one of those. Yeah, but I mean, as tempting as it was to take it for myself, uh, honestly, Tyrin is a more likely to die. <laughs> yeah. More adorable. I want him to keep. I want to find another one. You want to find another Tyrin? No, another. And the nine lives. Oh, I mean, you know, if you if you if you drink one of all these potions, you might vomit it up, you know. <laughs> Give what it a go. What are the risks? What are I the negatives? I uh I don't know. Raya uh, got when really people weak. drank it. Oh no, was Raya it cold? Got, Raya, Raya got weak. Raya got weak. Yeah, Raya oh, had yeah. Raya and fever moment. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cast on them, which good thing you were in um, the battle. Yeah, no, Raya. Raya just kind of glowed a bit, and then and then needed to go to bed. Uh, oh. She got a bit tired. Um, let me see. Uh, Cole turned a nearby fountain into holy water, so I was getting the <laughs> fuck out of there. Um, Rivia actually and... flicked holy water at him, and I made him roll for it, and it would have just oh. burnt his skin and, like, scarred it if it did hit him. Oh my god. Yeah. You, sh you should have bottled some of that up. <laughs> there they did. They, they have should... a barrel. Got, like, a they whole, have a barrel. Got a whole oh my god. Because he, need, he needs it to cast magic circles, so he was like, yeah, we're just gonna oh, yeah. bottle that stuff up. But yeah, um, um, it actually happened to Erica's 
sister was hit with holy water and it leaves permanent scars on fiends and oh world. so you can like see when someone's been marked by a holy weapon which also helps holy warriors track down fiends that they've hit because they can leave oh. scars that are like recognizable mm. well i mean i assume uh syrian like cast regenerate on azalea at this point so yeah because cool. regenerate i'm pretty sure can heal scars yeah. Uh, it would make sense considering it can regrow limbs. Uh, <laughs> um. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Rivia drank one too, but I don't actually know what it did to him. Oh, that was yeah. A visible difference. Um, how does one go about acquiring one of these? What, the, the, the potions? Yeah. I'm sure you can get one tomorrow. Ollie will probably offer you one. He will. He, you're, you're the only one he has not offered a potion to. He's not met me yet. Yeah, he has not. Exactly. He doesn't know who I am. Yeah, but he, as soon as he sees you, goes the new person. New person, do you want, you want a potion? You want, you, want, <laughs> you, want, you want a potion? I made it for you. I, I made it. Have you seen him? I think I, I think I have actually. Oh, probably found him. Um, yeah. So then I that I got the I got pendant nine lives and I bought an item of Blake and um. Then I Ooh. then I went home and now I'm now I'm now I'm here. Yeah. I'm tired. Same. I. Yeah. Oh, it's him. For yeah. context, you have no idea where he whips those potions. He just reaches behind his cape and he pulls out a potion <laughs> that should not be able to fit behind there. And he would just continuously pull them out whenever he feels like it. Oh, Which is usually whenever incredible. I feel like it. That's incredible. And they have a completely random effect in response. There is, I have six tables, depending on what he's feeling like. And there's a good and I... a bad for each table. That's incredible. <laughs> Just showing him off. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this session. I hope it was fun for you. Uh, you're gonna have it quite was. a long time looking at magic items, but we can do I that. Am. We can do that together. I am going to be looking at these. Well, at least you have the like physical list, so you can like on Discord, so you can yeah. just kind of crop it down, just copy paste it, and then, you know, get rid of the ones you don't want, etc. But yeah, thanks so much for joining me, we've caught up everyone, so uh, the next morning we shall continue the session, and that will be next weekend on Sunday, because we've got more this weekend. Yeah. Okie dokie. See you then.